Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Yeah, in my previous video, Mashtastic 2.6 Q&A, top comment section questions answered. I got another comment, actually another question. How do I fix the time? You know, and I never really paid attention to it. I work internationally, so if you flash midnight GMT, it's like, I know what time that is. It's like, but yeah, you know, come to think of it. Yeah, I never did figure that out. So it turns out you have to set this time zone definition and it's in POSIX time zone database language format. Yeah, it uses the TZ database format. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into tools, go into the reboot, and you want to reboot into Bluetooth mode. You saw that in my previous video as well. Yeah, you, know, you just touch the Bluetooth icon and it reboots. And then it comes back in basically configuration mode. We're going to wait a second for it to come back up. I'm not going to cut anything out here. Yeah, there we go. It's coming in. Yeah, programming mode. And the code is 123456. So I'm going to use my phone because I know I had trouble hooking my PC up via Bluetooth. Let's hit the plus sign. There we go. E520, that's my device. And I'll plug in that 123456 and hit pair. It takes a second to kick in. Yeah, there's pairing completed, service starting. It transfers over all the information that we uh, have on this device. Yeah, come to think of it, you know, you want to figure out when you're first flashing it, what do I want to switch on in serial? And I might make a video about that. You want to go into radio configuration, device, and then scroll down to POSIX time zone. Fortunately, look for the links down below. There's a link to this chart here. It's a table per se, yeah. And so Phoenix is my time zone and the appropriate POSIX symbol is MST7. So uh, I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to make sure it's uppercase, MST7. And then we can just go down to the bottom and hit send. Delivery confirmed. All right. So now we leave programming mode by touching that Bluetooth symbol and it reboots. Yeah, again, like I say, I want to go through and look at things that you want to set because we use a higher hop count here in Tucson. And I know it defaults to three and I don't think you can set that in the MUI. Um, I don't know how much they're going to try to cram into the MUI. You know, it just came out. It's in still in beta. All right, we're almost there. Okay, and it comes back and it will show uptime for like 40 seconds, 50 seconds. Um, yeah, I like kept tap, tapping the icon next to it and I wouldn't switch over. But you can see here, it's, we're just going to wait. Uh, I think it probably takes time for the time to come down from the network before it flips over to show the actual time. Okay, 40 seconds. It might be about 50 seconds. Yeah, see, I tapped the icon. Uh, yeah, I did, it, that didn't help. Go back to the home screen. 48, 49, 50, 51. Oh, there it goes. And it's 5.30 in the morning, Mountain Standard Time, on Friday, the 21st of March. Okay, so that's how you fix the time zone in the Meshtastic 2.6 uh, MUI. I hope that answers your question. Thanks for your comments. I do try to address good questions and good suggestions when they fit in with my, <laughs> whatever my mood is in. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Meshtastic on the T-Deck or my bigger Meshtastic playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.